Hey YouTubers, two words in this video, Possum Kingdom. All right, so we are here at Possum Kingdom, and we are going out fishing today, just Chantel and I and her dad. And this fish count again is six for Chantel, zero for me. Kaylee has three, but she's sticking around. I'm a little hot today. We'll see how it goes. We're going to troll a little bit, but we're back at it. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm on the game board. He's not big, but he's a fish. A little striper. He's not a keeper, but he's a fish. I'm on the board. I'm one now. No more goose egg. Oh. Yeah. I'm on the board. Seven on the board right there. It's a driver. Mark. I know it. I know it. It's a sad ordeal, isn't it? What is that? Eight? Eight fish. Eight fish. All right, so fish count right now between Chantel and myself is she's got eight, I've only got one. I'm gonna ask her a huge favor right now and see if she'll uh, oblige me. Chantel, will you kiss my pole? Now I should have some luck. Let's see how this goes. I bet she got him. Whoa. Oh man. Man, that was close. That was close. My heart was racing. My heart was racing. That was going to put her at nine, but we're not counting that one. It did not get landed. I'm, I am sad for her, but not counting. How, how, how you feeling? I'm okay. I guess we can count it. It's okay. I didn't get it. He's just right here. Did you see it? Sorry, I got it on camera now. Chantel's got eight. I was wrong yesterday. Kaylee's actually at four. I'm still at one. And so uh, we're going to hit this morning and do a little trolling and see what we come up with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a nice one. Pull him up, Chantel. I'm going to get you a little photo. Okay, so it's going to be a daughter. Uh, daddy daughter fishing trip for a little bit and um, we came back in she told caught the largemouth bass that you saw earlier and so she puts her at nine four Chantel, yeah kaylee's at four i'm still at one so maybe we'll leave the big catcher behind and maybe we'll catch up to her a little bit Number what? Five. Say that again. Five. <laughs> Fish number two, right here. We thought it was Kaylee's, but it's actually mine. <laughs> <laughs> little, little striper. 
Oh, it's fish number two. <laughs> I wish it was fish number three. Fish number two. Oh. <laughs> I got him in the boat. It counts. <laughs>
boss have a really good liver. I think I bought that liver twice now. Okay, after my trip to the ER yesterday and got the lure out of my finger, a little bit of a not so happy moment with our insurance right now regarding the cost of all that. But anyway, that being said, we're out here for our final day of fishing. Chantel is at a count of nine. Uh, Kaylee is at six, I believe, and I'm three or four. Anyway, Kaylee's gonna come back out here in a minute and she can help me confirm my count because I truly don't remember at this point. Um, anyway, um, we'll see if we can get Chantel to 10 and then she needs to stop and let everybody else catch her. So that's kind of kind of where we're going. I'm sure she wants to keep on catching after 10. So we're out here again, one final day here at Possum Kingdom. So interesting story, last night, we get this guy that comes by our campsite and he's uh, needing a pair of pliers and he was pretty frantic and we were asking him why and I guess he uh, ended up landing a lure through his wife's cheek last night and needed a pair of pliers to try to get it out. I guess it came all the way through her cheek though where he was able to actually cut the barb off and get it out. Anyway, um, he claims he may never fish again, so can't blame him there. That's either four or five for me. I can't remember my I count. I think it's four. It's yeah. probably four. I'm not gonna get this in my stinking finger this I'm time, I can tell you. Five or six. I have to ask Kaylee what my original count was coming out. Dude, I know what it feels like to have a hook in you like this. I'm sorry about that. All right, sad moment. I'm really pulling for Chantel to get her 10, and she just hooked one, but she lost it before I got to the boat. We even saw it break the water. Chantel? Leave me alone. I want your thoughts. Frustrated. I'm sorry. She can get her 10, and then I have no problem trying to catch 11 but I'm a long ways from that. Whatever my count is. Six. Six, yeah. Come on, Chantel, I need to catch one and get your chance. Ah, don't, on. don't let That's it. That's how it got me yesterday. I'm not pulling it today. You just you calm down there, buddy. I know it hurts. Uh, believe me, I know it hurts. The problem with these hooks, they're not designed to come back out once they go in. There we go. Here we can tell we just got back off the water. We're gonna get Kaylee and go fishing a little bit. It's not a fair deal because I'm on the boat all the time because I've got to get the fish off the line and you know puncture my thumb and stuff. But Chantel's at nine. I told her we gotta fish tonight off the dock. We gotta get her to ten. I'm rooting for her on that. I still like to beat her, but she needs to get her ten. So we're gonna try to figure out how to make that happen before we leave. We're leaving tomorrow. And so we're on the way back to the campsite, get some, uh, get some drinks, get Kaylee in the boat, get back out on the water, try again. All right, Kaylee has declined uh, going back out fishing, so we're back on the boat again. Chantel and I, shoot, rooting for number 10 for her. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There you go. Come on, get him on the boat, Chantel. Go ahead. Number 10, big 10 zero. How's that feel? Okay. All right. There we go, number 10. Here we go in again. Yeah. I know it hurts. Believe me. I know. Number 10 for Chantel. Right there. Oh, can you hear him? Can you hear him? He's making a little noise. Little channel cat on a lure. I don't know if I've ever caught a catfish on a lure before. He doesn't count much of his fish, but I'm counting him. That's number what? seven. seven. All right, so it looks like we're ending our time fishing on our trip through Texas, summer 2017. We didn't do a lot of fishing, but we did some, you know, in quite a few places. And so Chantel got her 10th fish. Yay for Chantel. I came up to seven, right? Yeah. Kaylee ended up with six, I believe. So that looks like our totals but unless, what? She chose not to fish today. Yeah, she chose not to fish today. So anyway, that's our grand totals unless we decide to throw a little hook in the water later on this evening. But we've got to pack up, we're leaving tomorrow. We'll give our rundown to uh, the Possum Kingdom State Park um, tomorrow morning as we're getting ready to leave. So um, catch that next. 
All right, so we are wrapping up our trip here at Possum Kingdom. We've been here about a week. We have been coming here for several years, ever since my kids were little. And we love coming to Possum Kingdom State Park. It's a great RV park, has multiple sites um, in primitive areas as well as uh, hookup areas. Now the hookups are full hookups with the exception of sewers, so it's water and electricity. Most of the sites here are 30 amp. They do have some 50 amp. Also some of the sites are rather small, so if you have a large trailer, um, you know, you kind of look into some of the bigger sites and sometimes you don't. Um, some of the things that are great about this park is there's camping right on the water. So if you have a boat or you want lake access right from the back of your campsite, then you can get it here. Um, one of the downsides to camping in Texas state parks nowadays and RV sites is that they fill up quickly so you need to get your reservations in advance. We made this reservation about four months in advance so we could ensure that we got multiple days. We stayed here for five days uh, so we could get consecutive days. Uh, you might get lucky showing up uh, during midweek in the summer uh, by just staying a day or two, but chances are you, brought it, you probably should call ahead um, to make sure you have a reservation. Some of the amenities in the park are they rent kayaks and canoes. They also have boat slip rentals. They also have a pretty good store in the park where you can uh, purchase ice and uh, gasoline and propane and different accessories for the lake. However, you're going to pay dearly for it. And one of the reasons is we're about 30 to 40 miles from the closest grocery store or gas station. Um, gas here in the park is about a dollar higher than what you're going to pay in town. And you're going to pay quite a bit for other accessories. Like I had to buy a propane bottle, it cost me seven bucks. In town, you can buy uh, two propane bottles for the same price. So markup is pretty high, but they have the things you need. It's a pretty well stocked store. Um, they also have a fishing dock and they have a cleaning station. Um, they have um, a swimming area here in the lake. Um, no lifeguard, of course. Um, but Access to the lake is great. Fishing is great here. We didn't do that great this time. I don't think too many people did around us. But Chantel did hit her 10 uh, fish goal by the time we got to this particular lake. Um, I hit seven, Kaylee hit six, and my father-in-law hit quite a few actually here at the park. Uh, we're gonna look forward to maybe uh, finding some places that are cooler next summer. We're playing with some different ideas. Won't share them here until we've got that finalized, but uh, be looking forward to next uh, travel videos. Um, if you enjoyed uh, this particular video or you want to see more of my travel videos, especially for Traveling Texas uh, Summer 2017, you can click this link right here on this card that will get you access to all the videos. This is pretty much the last big trip that we have this summer. I've got to start back to work August 1st. However, we do have a weekend trip scheduled in September at Paladero State Park and I will actually uh, be videoing that one as well, so look forward to that one coming up. Also my end screens are going to show you some additional videos that might be of interest to you. Uh, one way you can really show your support on this channel is by liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. I would truly appreciate that. Also, you can comment below, and I'll be happy to um, read your comments, and I will respond back to those. If you have any questions, leave those below. Um, anyway, again, like I said, support me, and if you are a person that enjoys travel videos, please share my videos with others on Twitter or wherever you like to share videos at. Um, I really want to see some popularity in that area on my channel as I've kind of switched venues on my channel over the years and I'm really trying to get my subscriber base up when it comes to travel videos. Anyway, we'll see you next time on Mr. Hayes' YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.